Who commands troops better in Bannerlord? Is it us? Or is it those pesky AI? Well, in this video we're going to find out. We're going to run several tests on the battlefield to determine who is the best. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Okay, so we'll start off with us, the humans. Hello, other humans. We're going to set up a battle against other troops of the same type and tier, but from a different culture. I'm going to use some standard tactics including shield wall infantry, loose archers, and command my cavalry to attack the enemy archers once they approach. Let's see how this goes. So, the first battle is over and we achieved 96 kills to 34 deaths. Let's run the same test two more times so we can get a nice average. The second test came out at 84 kills to 29 deaths. That's less kills but also less deaths than the first test. Third test is up and we achieved 82 kills to 13 deaths. A lot less deaths this time with the same amount of kills as the second test. If we calculate the average of all three tests, we come out with 87 kills to 25 deaths. That's pretty decent in my opinion. And yeah, I'm not the best Banner Lord player ever, but this is my test so back off. So now we have the human average, it's time to see what the AI can do. Okay, so in the first test, I noticed that the AI is actually pretty good at finding a position to hold straight away. And also broke the cavalry up into two teams instead of just the one that I had. The AI also used the same tactics as me, but is not using the cavalry effectively. They allowed the enemy cavalry to charge into their cavalry, causing a decent amount of cavalry deaths on the AI side. The first test for them finished with 73 kills to 32 deaths. Less kills by 22 compared to our first test, but also two less deaths. The, the AI's second and third test was pretty much the same as the first command wise but they finished their second test with 74 kills to 13 deaths and their third test with 74 kills to 20 deaths. These averaged out at 74 kills to 20 deaths overall. Not too bad. So this tells me that humans can get more kills whereas the AI is more efficient at preventing deaths. I also noticed that the AI was able to cause the enemy to run from morale loss a lot better than I could. So. What happens when you combine both humans and AI? I used the AI to get my troops into position, then held my foot troops in a defensive position whilst the enemy approached. Once the enemy was close enough, I commanded my cavalry to attack their archers. We decimated the enemy and finished with 74 kills to 20 deaths, which was actually surprising to me. So, in conclusion, you should use AI to your advantage by helping with positioning or taking control of a troop group you can't focus on, for example cavalry. Luckily for us, we still outsmart AI when it comes to commanding troops. So don't worry commander, Corrine is still yours for now. Don't forget to give that like and subscribe button a cheeky tickle if you enjoyed this video. And if you're still struggling to manage your thieves, especially with low loyalty, then click this video here and I will show you how to manage them effectively.